No, he's excited. Mm. And, and he's already, like, in training camp right now in Vegas. He's taking it serious. Yeah, like, Holy he's already shit. training. Like, I'm, I'm taking a little bit of break because I did just four fights in the past year. Yeah. So I'm taking, like, a week and a half, two weeks off. Jake Paul has once again grabbed attention with a controversial message directed at Mike Tyson in his latest interview. In a bold move, Paul has seemingly stripped Tyson of his respect and honor promising further disrespect if Tyson challenges him again. Despite the hype surrounding their potential matchup, it's uncertain whether they can deliver on the promise of the greatest fight of the 21st century. Instead, their interactions have fueled controversy, with Paul's latest comments adding fuel to the fire. In his tirade, Paul targeted Tyson's training videos, boxing career, family, legal issues, and even his past injuries. Unapologetically, Paul declared himself the master of chaos and controversy, asserting his dominance in creating headlines wherever he goes. After you're winning these fights and taking everybody down, at some point you're like, I'm unstoppable, I'm invincible. Jake Paul, along with his brother Logan, gained fame through social media and YouTube at a young age before transitioning to boxing, where he garnered millions of fans worldwide. Known for his controversial acts and villainous persona, he earned the nickname Problem Child. Despite being 26, Paul excels as a social media influencer, YouTuber, and professional boxer, although he faces backlash for his controversial actions. In a direct message to Mike Tyson, Paul criticized Tyson's training sessions and boldly threatened to tattoo Tyson's tongue if they were to fight on July 20th. He expressed confidence in defeating Tyson and made it clear he takes the fight seriously. Jake Paul boldly stated, I could wake up after sleeping for a whole month and still beat you in a bout. He then challenged Mike Tyson's career, claiming he would have defeated Tyson in his prime and out of it. Paul referenced Tyson's losses and expressed his ambition to move into the heavyweight class and become an undefeated champion. Yeah, I beat him in one minute. How do you even yeah, assess how good I was? Well, because I, I said I didn't know. And actually, but you I'm called me average minute. after you one minute. Average. Jake Paul referenced Buster Douglas's emotional state during his shocking victory over Tyson, which occurred shortly after Douglas lost his mother. When asked about his videos mimicking Tyson's ear-bite incident against Holyfield, Paul emphasized his intention to put Tyson to sleep in their potential bout and questioned why people only focus on Tyson's knockouts and scary reputation, rather than his losses and issues. Paul portrayed Tyson as lacking discipline and control over his anger, stating that he had chosen to see Tyson differently from the legend many perceive him to be. Despite this, Paul explained that he's fighting Tyson to reshape public perception and reveal his true character. Jake Paul aims to challenge misconceptions, stating Mike Tyson has admitted to being a poor role model and experiencing failures in various aspects of life. Paul emphasized Tyson's shortcomings as a father, husband, friend, and role model, suggesting his age is evidence of these failures. In contrast, Paul expressed his desire to focus on his legacy and be a positive role model for future generations, dismissing the idea of fighting at an older age. When asked about potential shocks on July 20th, Paul suggested the only shocking outcome would be his defeat to Tyson, highlighting his confidence in victory. I think it was a draw, honestly. I think you would have been lucky to get a draw. I think he beat you. I'm not sitting here and saying that I should have won. All I'm saying is that Tommy should want to come back and like actually beat me. Jake Paul expressed his certainty of a win, focusing on his plan to finish the match quickly and set a record for the earliest knockout in boxing history. He aimed to knock out Tyson within eight seconds, stating that anything other than that would be shocking. Paul then discussed his opinion of great boxers, excluding Tyson from the list and praising Muhammad Ali, Evander Holyfield, Larry Holmes, Joe Luis and George Foreman. He mentioned Foreman's infamous five fights in one night, which ultimately tarnished his reputation in sports history as the bouts were seen as a sad spectacle rather than a display of athleticism and power. Even Foreman's usual trainers refused to attend the spectacle. Ali, renowned for his trash-talking prowess, spent the entire hour hurling abuse at Foreman from ringside. After finishing off his fifth opponent, Foreman raised his arms in triumph but was met with booze and glass bottles raining down on him, marking the lowest point of his career. However, Foreman bounced back emphatically and is now regarded as one of the best and most popular heavyweights of the 20th century. Jake Paul didn't miss the chance to ridicule George Foreman, responding to KSI's announcement of fighting a professional boxer and a rapper on the same night. 
Paul criticized KSI's decision and referenced Foreman's infamous multiple fights in one night. He questioned KSI's sanity and ridiculed the idea of facing multiple opponents in one evening, likening it to Foreman's ill-fated bout. Paul, responding to KSI, criticized George Foreman's infamous bout where he fought five opponents in one night, labeling it as an awful showing and a mere stunt that disappointed fans. However, despite Paul's remarks, Foreman remains one of the greatest and most highly regarded boxers ever, with an impressive record of 76 wins and 68 knockout victories out of 81 matches. When asked about his own ambitions as a boxer, Paul expressed his dream of becoming a world champion in the heavyweight division in a unique way. He emphasized his unconventional approach, stating that he refuses to follow the traditional path taken by most upcoming boxers. Instead, Paul aims to leave a legacy by challenging the greats and legends of the sport directly, using what he calls the backdoor approach. He explained that he intends to start at the top and unseat the established champions to claim his place among the boxing greats. However, it seems Paul may have overlooked someone who has already utilized the backdoor approach to establish a lasting legacy in boxing. Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou made his boxing debut against undefeated WBS and lineal heavyweight champion Tyson Fury in a match dubbed the Battle of the Baddest. Despite losing via split decision, Ngannou impressed by knocking down Fury and earning praise from the boxing community. His ranking by the WBC after just one fight highlighted his potential in the sport. Naganu's unconventional journey from MMA to boxing has garnered him popularity among fans and athletes alike, with soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo among his supporters. Jake Paul currently holds no ranking by the WBC, despite previous promises. Francis Naganu, on the other hand, has had a more financially rewarding boxing career. In his fight against Tommy Fury, Paul earned $2.6 million and took 65% of the pay-per-view revenue, totaling approximately $7.1 million including sponsorships. Fury earned £5 million, his most lucrative payday to date, including performance-related bonuses as the victor. Fury started to find that left jab with a little bit more regularity. Decent shot with his back to the ropes as well. The better work at this stage. Tommy Fury reportedly received a sum of £1.6 million, along with 35% of the pay-per-view revenue. As the winner, he earned an additional £835,000 in a performance-related bonus, totaling £4.5 million, his highest payday to date. In contrast, Francis Naganu surpassed Jake Paul's earnings in his first boxing match against the self-proclaimed Gypsy King, banking over £10 million, which exceeds his entire MMA career earnings. Tyson Fury confirmed the Ganu's significant earnings and expressed disappointment in the Ganu's lack of gratitude. Naganu's match against Anthony Joshua saw him earn over £6 million, surpassing his earnings from the Fury fight. These reported fees exclude pay-per-view revenue and winnings, indicating Naganu's substantial financial success. In terms of using the back door in boxing, Naganu has done so more honorably and lucratively than Jake Paul. The build-up to Naganu's fights has generated significant attention and anticipation, surpassing even the intense build-ups of Mike Tyson's fights with other greats in the sport. As the July 20th match approaches, expect more excitement and drama. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe for more updates and news in the world of boxing.